Hello everyone, my name is Thumb and Dylan, and today I will be discussing the barber pole illusion. So what is it, and how does it work? The barber pole is commonly found outside barber shops, hence the origins of its name. In 1929, psychologist J.P. Guilford noticed the paradoxical motion of the stripes on a rotating barber pole. The barber pole turns in place on its vertical axis, but the stripes appear to move upwards rather than turning with the pole. The barber pole illusion is a visual illusion where the turning of a diagonally striped pole makes it appear as if the stripes are moving up or down vertically, as you can see in the gif on the right side of the slide. The barber pole with spiral stripes is rotating around its vertical axis, so the colors move horizontally, but the stripes appear to move upwards vertically. Both a rotating spiral striped pole and a horizontally and vertically moving series of diagonal lines behind an aperture creates the illusionary perception of the vertical movement of the stripes. A testable hypothesis to explain the barber pole illusion as previously mentioned is that when a diagonally striped pole is turned, it makes it appear as if the stripes are moving up or down vertically. The explanation behind this is that the diagonally moving grating is perceived as moving vertically because of the narrow, vertical, and rectangular shape of the aperture window through which it is viewed. The shape of the aperture tends to determine the perceived direction of motion for an identically moving contour. Thus, a vertically elongated aperture makes vertical motion dominant whereas if it was reoriented and horizontally elongated, then the aperture would determine a horizontal motion. Now referring back to the GIF, I would just like to point out that when I focus my attention on the spherical bulb on top of the barber pole, the illusion appears to be moving in a circular motion as it naturally does. However, when I focus on the rectangular aperture, it appears as vertical, or in other words, as the barber pole illusion itself. Supporting the previously mentioned hypothesis, there was an experimental study done by Patterson et al. in 1998 where observers viewed a square wave grating moving through a rectangular aperture and indicated whether the grating appeared to move in a direction perpendicular to its orientation or in the direction of the long axis of the aperture. For both stereoscopic and luminous stimuli, the grating appeared to move in the direction of the aperture, or in other words, the participants perceived the barber pole illusion, which was the objective of the experiment. In regards to the hypothetical results of this demonstration, real-world implications that can be taken away are that perception is actually much, much more complex than a simple topographical representation of the visual world. What we see is actually much more than what is imaged through the retina. Therefore, perception is inevitably an ambiguity-solving process. The perceptual system generally reaches the most plausible global interpretation of the retinal input by integrating local cues that are objective, as demonstrated throughout this presentation, and psychological cues that are subjective to some extent as well. And here I have a list of all the references which I use. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for listening to my presentation. Have a good one.